Today we're going to be building a digital TV, basically using two parts, one of the new digital to analog converter boxes and an old PlayStation 1 Sony monitor. First thing we'll need to do is unpack the converter box. Inside the converter box we find the converter itself As you can see, it has antenna in, TV out, video out, audio left and right channel out, and a DC 9 volt power input. It comes with its own 9 volt transformer, a antenna connector, remote control, and instruction book. All we need to add now is a PlayStation video monitor, the type which screws onto the back of a PlayStation and folds down to make the lid. Now we've conveniently added an on-off switch, which is in series with the power connector on the back. This is so we don't have to unplug the power connector each time we want to turn the TV on and off. Of course, here's the power supply for the PlayStation. And we'll need a special audio video cable that plugs into the audio video input on the back of the PlayStation monitor. All right, let's plug everything together. First we'll plug in the audio video, power supply for the PlayStation, okay. On the back of the set-top set converter, we'll plug in our video cord and our audio cord that goes to the PlayStation. Plug in our power transformer, and we need an antenna connection. That's an outside antenna. Doesn't need to be cable or pay TV. Just an outside antenna. Next, we'll need to plug in the power. Okay, now we've got the power plugged in and we're ready to try it out. So the first thing we'll do is turn on the set-top converter. goes to green. Switch the power on the PS1 monitor. And we need to connect an outside antenna. So we'll connect an outside antenna. Like so. And we see that it's working. Let's try going through the channels. Well, as you can see, we've just built a digital TV using a set-top converter box and a PlayStation 1 video monitor. Looks like that channel's a little weak. Alright, so another experiment from Electroman 49. Thanks for watching.